now let's start with how to write a chemical formula now for binary compound what are binary compound a binary compound are compound that have two elements so we we'll still need our valency in writing a binary compound so now example write down the molecular formula or chemical formula of the compounds now a lithium oxide a lithium oxide now anytime you see ide ending like this that is ide ending they are non metals that is it is from this group five please you need to download the periodic table this one is not clear enough but as you see it like this you can check with the periodic table with you and confirm so to be bold then so now group five group six group seven now this group five six seven are non-metal as in for this naming sake we are doing it this way are non-metals so now anyone that fall on this group either group five any element that falls there group six or group seven it will end with ide now oxygen is in group six so that is why it's oxide so all those ide ending they are those non-metals now the one we are naming now is metal and non-metal so i have grouped this naming into different section now this section we are naming metal and we are writing chemical formula for metal and non-metal so now for example lithium is metal oxygen is non-metal so all what we are doing in this example is metal and non-metal so anytime you are naming metal and non-metal there is nothing like die try nothing like that nothing like roman numeral we just call it straight but the way we pronounce is not the way we write so now lithium oxide so lithium is in what group check your periodic table so lithium is in group one that means the valency will be one again oxide you should know because you have ide it means it's oxygen because it's um non-metal all those non-metal five six seven will be ide ending so chlorine will be chloride fluorine will be fluoride for um, nitrogen will be nitride that is it will always end with i d e take notes all those non-metals so now what is now the valency for oxygen oxygen is in group six that means it can uh, lose six it will rather gain two you know we've done this their charges is also their valency so oxygen will be o2 minus the charge is also the valency but valency is always positive so now crisscross that is this one will go to this this two will go to this one so that means the symbol for lithium will be li then two is going to lithium then o1 is going to oxygen so we don't usually write subscript one so this is li2 o oh, this is lithium oxide you will see the two does not reflect in our naming i did not say lithium two i did not say die lithium die now there is nothing like die or try or roman numeral here yeah. just pronounce it lithium oxide if it is metal and non-metal so and you can identify metal group one to four are metal five six seven are non-metal so if what you are naming is metal and non-metal just pronounce it straight so now let's say it formally so we want to write a chemical formula for lithium oxide so the symbol for lithium is li the symbol for oxide that is oxygen so now what is the valency for lithium we can say lithium is in group one so that means the valency will be one oxygen is in group six it cannot lose six remember five six group five group six group seven cannot lose it the group five can rather gain three their valency is three to become eight so group six can rather gain two to become eight their valency is two 
Group 7 will rather gain 1 to become 8. Their valency is 1. Take note. So that means five, group 5, 6, 7 will be 3, 2, 1. But group 1 to 4 will remain the same. And those ones are metals. 5, 6, 7 are non metals. So now oxygen is 2. Now do your crisscross. This is Li2, then O. So this is lithium oxide. Now let's see the second one B. Potassium nitride. So potassium nitride. So what is the symbol for potassium? Potassium is P. Nitride. That will be nitrogen. Remember, it is a non-metal. It's here, group 5. Anyone that is non-metal always end with IDE. So nitrogen, that is nitride. Now, what is the valency for potassium? Where is potassium? Potassium, sorry, potassium is K. Uh, phosphorus is P. So potassium is K, the symbol. So nitride is nitrogen. So potassium here is K. Do you see K there? So and it belongs to group one. That means the valency will be one. Now nitride, nitrogen is in group five. It cannot carry five, but it will rather gain three. So the valency is three. So that means nitrogen is potassium is one. Nitrogen is three. So do your crisscross. So three is going to potassium. So that will be K3. One is going to nitrogen. So this is potassium nitride. You will notice that the subscript does not reflect in the naming. So potassium nitride. Anytime it is non -metal, metal and non metal together, then just call it straight. That is potassium nitride. Not potassium 3 nitride or uh, tri potassium, nothing like that. Just say potassium nitride. So the next one we'll do in another video is non-metal, uh, is transition metal and non-metal. Remember this is metal and non-metal. So the one I'll do next will be transition metal and non-metal. So you see how we can name it, I'll group everything separately. So anytime you see it, you know how to give it correct naming. Now the third one, C, sodium. chloride so sodium is na chloride is cl so that is sodium is in group one so the valency will be one chlorine is in group seven it cannot lose seven it rather gain one the valency is also one so that means sodium is one chlorine is also one so if you do your crisscross that will be na1 cl1 but we don't usually write one so we just say na cl so this is sodium chloride so if i see this and i don't even know how to name it i'll first observe that sodium is in metal this one is in non-metal if it is metal and non-metal so i'll just pronounce straights so like again i have k3 n so if i want to name this i'll first look at it that okay potassium is metal nitrogen is non-metal then i'll just name it straight potassium nitride those subscripts does not reflect here yeah. okay so this is sodium chloride so the next one it's d aluminum oxide so aluminum is in group three this is aluminum so it's in group three like that this is group one group two group three so because it belongs to group three the valency is three remember i said our group is the valency so aluminum is al oxygen is o so valency of aluminum is three and oxygen is two because it's in group six you cannot lose six it's rather gain two now do your crisscross so this is al two 
or 3. So 3 is going to O. So this is aluminum oxide. So if I see Al2O3 and I don't know what to call it, I'll first observe O aluminum is metal. Oxygen is non metal. So the subscript does not count. I'll just call it straight aluminum oxide. But the way you pronounce is not the way you write. So you always use your crisscross. That is the valency of each. Then do crisscross. So you get it. So this is aluminum oxide. So in our next video, I'll do transition metal and non metal. So this one is metal and non metal.